The problem is that Gavin likes new while Laura likes old. And we've got to find them the perfect compromise. This sort of a style, would that be something that you'd be at? I like that. I don't know if Gavin does, but I like that. Gavin? That's really nice. That, that just looks ugly. I, I don't know what it is about old buildings. I get paranoid about what's hidden and what we can't see. I like the reassurance of something that's new and just been built and doesn't have any problems. Light and space, that's the most important things to me. I've, you know, big windows. Nice, spacious rooms. Uh, enough space to park the car, I think. The red sandstone. I like the red as well. And actually. Gavin's not so keen. <laughs> <laughs> so, somehow we've got to satisfy both of them. We're looking for a two bedroom flat in the West End with a maximum of £120,000 to spend. It's got to be old and full of character, but also new and convenient. Should be fun. Our first stop is on Haben Crescent and we're looking at the garden flat of a traditional Glasgow tenement building. It's on the market for a fixed price of £120,000 and comes with a study, free on-street parking and a garden. Hans, I'll start now. What do you think of this? Nice road for you? Uh, narrow. Narrow, I think. Parking? No. Yeah, but uh, get quite congested if there's a, quite a lot of cars going up and down, isn't it? Unfortunately, you know, you're not buying the parking space, Kevin, you're buying the flat, so... <laughs> OK. See what you think. This is a fantastic room. It's lovely. Great. And it's, it's, an, it's a cosy room, isn't it? Great fireplace. Yeah. It's been put in recently, though, hasn't it? And that looks like it needs a bit of work up there, doesn't it? Someone has put in a new cornice in this room and hasn't put it in particularly well. Not off to a brilliant start then, but there is a hidden attraction. Oh, I like this. This is a real this added bonus. Really this is cool. cool. Love the idea of the study. Basement flats tend to be dark, but this one's brighter than most. And because it's a converse and it has extra hall space where the stairwell would have been. It's got more than enough character to please Laura and even has its very own back door leading on to the garden. It's very so. charming, but I don't think it's the one I have to say. I think there's too many things we want to do, considering the price as it is already. So onwards, and to something much younger. Gavin's had to go off to work, so Laura is viewing our first modern property. It's a new development at Waverley Gate. It's got all mod cons, it's got two bedrooms, it's even got two bathrooms and it's on the market for offers over 89,000. Let's see what Laura thinks. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I really like the windows, actually. Yeah. Do you know the one thing about this place which Gavin will love? Parking space. And yeah. you can even watch to make sure Yeah, he can get up okay. in the night. <laughs> but at this stage, it doesn't always pay to fall in love with a view. I was looking out the window then and there and thinking, right, that's my view. Yeah. And they come back in six months when, you know, they've got it. And it's a completely different view. It's something that your solicitor would check as part of the uh -huh. local search. Yeah. I think Gavin will like it. The only thing I would say is that it wouldn't give us a huge amount more space than we've got at the moment. New properties like this one usually come with benefits such as a fully fitted kitchen and a place to park that beloved car. But choosing new over old is often an issue of convenience over space and this place is just too small. You may think that brand new properties are totally hassle free, but it's not always the case. Size matters. You may be sacrificing space for convenience. Will your huge bed or your antique furniture fit into the standard domestic space of modern homes? Measure the things you can't live without, check if they'll fit. Have developers scrimped on the fittings, fixtures and workmanship? Check brand names. Have they bulk bought the cheapest stuff available? Open drawers and look in cupboards. Have shortcuts been taken? Trust your instincts. You're more of an expert than you think. Developers will build on every inch of land available to them, so don't go on the artist's impressions. Will that view of mature trees and landscape gardens ever be realised? Or will a block of flats arrive in their place? So, for our next property, it's back to full-scale Victorian values, a tenement in Hindland. We're here on Novar Drive to see a flat in a typical Glasgow red sandstone tenement. 
This property has just come on the market, so we haven't had a chance to see it yet. And considering this is one of the best addresses in Glasgow, the offers over 83,000 seems quite reasonable. Look, this really is loved. Yeah. This is amazing, this bay window. That's the afternoon light, yeah. and I think the sun would go... It would move around. ...all the way yeah. over like yeah. that. And I like this, this second little window. What do you mm -hmm. think of the room? Uh, I think the room's spacious. It's certainly... You feel as though you're breathing in it, no problem at all. It's... it's um, I can't see anything that, that's scaring me. The most positive reaction so far, but that was before Gavin saw the size of the kitchen. Nothing wrong with the decor. It, it looks clean, it looks... What do you it's, think of it's, even, it's even quite stylish, but uh, it's just the size. When do we cook? <laughs> I mean, we don't spend a huge amount of time you in the kitchen. You a big cook, Gavin? No. Neither of us are. I get the feeling you really like this place, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. I just I don't know what it is about the kitchen. I take great pride in my, in, in my home, and I want people to come in and go, God, this place is really cool. And uh, I think the first thing that people are going to say, oh, maybe I'm thinking of my mother, I don't know, maybe my mother's going to come I in and go, fear. that kitchen's terrible, but it's, it's just a bit but too But the whole tight. other flat is lovely. I agree. There's nothing wrong. It's I absolutely, absolutely agree. brilliant. There's so much space. And I'm we don't need space in the kitchen. I'm such what a do fan we do of... in the kitchen? I don't know. <laughs> just, I just don't like it. I don't like it being so small. Look, acres covered. All we need is one under the sink. Look at that. Loads of food. All our dishes in here. And that's all we need. At offers over £83,000, this flat is full of potential. I feel sure we'll be back. If you're thinking of buying a flat in a tenement or period property, there are a few things you should consider. Check whether the building is listed. If it is, making alterations could be tricky. Don't assume you can double glaze your windows or have a satellite dish. Talk to the neighbours and explore the whole building to see how well it's maintained. Find out if there are any major works imminent and how much they will cost you. How do you feel about communal living? Find out who's going to be living in the flats around you. Is there a DJ above you, teenage tantrums below, or students next door? Come back at different times of day to listen out for noise. Water pressure can be a problem on upper floor flats. Try the taps and the shower to see if you're dealing with a torrent or a trickle. It's the end of the first day's search for Gavin and Laura's two-bedroom flat. Just so that Kirsty and I know how we're doing, let's talk through the properties that we've seen today. The garden flat at Haven Crescent didn't have enough to offer our couple for the fixed price of £120,000. And the new development at York Hill was too small for them. But Laura's having serious thoughts about Novar Drive, which could be a bit of a bargain at offers over £83,000. If only we could convince Gavin. The one problem I had with it was outside. Um, it lacked any in individuality. It must be about five, 500 yeah, flats in that uh, street, and I would imagine bringing a friend, parking outside, and he, you know my friend saying, "Where's your flat, Gavin?" And and I'd go, "It's one of those." I really liked it. I yeah. did. I really liked it. It's a good price for a flat I in that I area. I absolutely of that size. agree, and I think if you compare to the garden flat fixed price 120,000. Mm. Obviously it's offers over 83, it's going to go for 100, mm -hmm. I would expect, but I think you're getting an awful lot better yeah. value. In all ways, the actual flat itself, the location, everything. Yeah. Really beautiful, it would be very nice walking up here yeah. and on the way. Day two, and we're on the search for Gavin and Laura's ideal two bedroom flat. And this next property has everything Gavin has dreamed of. It's got a garage, it's brand spanking new, it's got a great shower. Hey, look, it's a good shower. The pressure's not great, but it's definitely hot and it heats up really quickly. Let's feel it then. And although it's a little on the small side, it's beautifully finished and very snazzy. It's a lovely kitchen. Oh, yes. Like that, as well. that makes a difference. No space for dishwasher, I'm afraid. I thought you wouldn't like the lounge. Are you happy with the lounge? Yeah, I mean, I'd like it to be bigger, but mm. I like it. I do like it. 
I don't like the outlook. And I also have a vision of a drunk person standing on that wall and like banging on my window. I'll try not to do that too often. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would hand over the money if I had it right now. I'd, I'd take this place, I think it's gorgeous. I think the finish is fantastic. And the one thing, that, you know, the, the handful of things that appear to be a problem aren't a big problem to me. I could live here, I could, you know, it would be easy to live here. It would be absolutely easy. It would be simple, straightforward, no problems. But I don't think I love it. And I want to love it. Gavin's sure he's found his new home, but Laura's still attached to the character of Novar Drive. This is a classic case of new versus old, and one of them is going to have to compromise. What they don't know is that we may have found them the solution to all their problems. 